A big match between the two strongest teams from Sao Paulo. John Champion and Jim Beglin together in the commentary box at Estadio Jose Alvalar. Hi, John. It's brilliant to be here with this fantastic atmosphere. I think we're in for a treat. Let's take a look then at the two teams. Designed, I think, with football very much in mind, this stadium, the magnificent Estadio José de Alvalade, it's the home, of course, to Sporting Club de Portugal, and the atmosphere and the views are simply stunning. And we're off. Through and still going. Can see to throw in a dangerous position too. Plays this forward. Chance! And he'll shoot here, and he makes absolutely no mistake. And it's Sao Paulo who take the lead. A devastating counter-attack that executed, I would have to say, to perfection. Yeah, at this level, you should get punished for that kind of sloppiness in midfield, and that was pretty punishing. They've gone ahead so early in the game. Well, I think if they were feeling a little tense and nervous beforehand, that goal will make life a lot easier, provided now they don't just sit back and defend it. Now seeking to get that ball in, and it's hoofed away. Oh, he wasn't taking any chances there. Fabiano, really good try, but no goal. And it may have been ambitious, but he came so near to finding the net. I think that's unfortunate. Luis Fabiano, who's already made an impact on this game. It's on for him. Enrique. The ball going in front. It's cleared. Possibility here. They were so nearly punished for their mistake. Half an hour played here. He's got in. Enrique. Oh, atrocious tackle. Free kick given. And there'll be a yellow card for the foul too. Referee had a good view of it. And he's going for it. That was well hit. Well, that free kick looked too far out for a shot.
a nice one too. Here's Luis Fabiano. Picked off there. Incisive pass, that. Got beyond the last defender, but the linesman had his flag up then for offside. A difference of one goal here with the half-time break coming up. Luis Fabiano. Decent strike. Just over the bar. Well, I think the keeper knows all too well that there was no getting anywhere near that. That's a big escape. Enrique. Half-time is now upon us. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Tight old game, this. 1-0 the scoreline. So here's the second half then. More of the same will doubtless please their manager. He's having a pot. What a reprieve that was. A ball in. Oh, he's lost it. Legal challenge, says the ref. He sends it in. No, that won't be finding its target. Luis Fabiano, already a goal scorer in this match. Fifteen minutes of the second half gone now. Enrique. Jadson beats him to it. A lot of the counter. Late challenge. He knocks it in. Goes for the volley. Claims it. That's a pretty powerful effort because he really got hold of that one, but he's not going to trouble the keeper from there. Enrique. Approaching the last 15 minutes of the game. Well, there was a chance to get the ball into the area, but maybe it's gone now. Breaking out quickly here. A ball over the top. It's come through to him. They've done it! And how important might that be for Palmeiras? He timed his run excellently. Well, they showed a real understanding linking up for that goal. It's a nightmare for the defence to try to deal with that. The 
game restarts with the scores level again. And he's still going. Can he now find a finish? And the chance accepted with some aplomb. And that, coming so late in the game, must be that. He escaped the shackles and finished very well. And it looked as if he had no room to try and engineer a chance there, and yet his strength and desire came through. It's a very well worked finish. They have their lead now, but can they hold out for these last few minutes? Oh, it's a huge goal at this stage, but I suspect they're going to have to dig deep for the next few minutes to try and see this one out. A chance. Could be a chance now. And that was on target. The final whistle goes. A hard-fought win just by the odd goal, but it'll do. Yeah, I thought it was a great game, you know. It was always going to be a tight one, just the one goal separating the teams at the final whistle. Many thanks to Jim alongside me, and that is finally it for the broadcast this afternoon.